Hello, this video is to show you how to customize a classical fixture with a gobo or a color filter. For that, go into the library and I will select for the moment a conventional fixture of this one. And I will make focus on the wall and highlight it like that. So currently I have just a nominal fixture output. So if I want to add a gobo or a color filter, as a workaround today, I will add another fixture. I will take the one from Acme, the Aikotan, just patch it, and we will take some object inside it. So expand the previous part you have inserted until finding the light object here, and do the same for the Aiko. And under the light object, we found color wheel, fixed gobo wheel. So I can select the both, control, then drag and drop it under our light object. The select, select the color wheel, fixed gobo, and reset its position. Okay, we can remove the A button for the moment. So here we got a color wheel with the first slot we will use and a fixed gobo wheel with the first slot we will use. So for the color wheel here, you can, inside the first slot, right click on it, fill with color, then you can select, pre-select color, define your own, and then if you want to specify one, specific one, you can use that to, to filter it. So we select this kind of green. So you see the output is changing. And if I want to use a, a gobo, I can go here and then select my slot and drag and drop a gobo you have locally. So for example, this one. So now I get accumulation between the color I have set and the gobo I have set. If I want to reset the color, I can come back to the color wheel. Inside the slot, I can do a right click, fill with color, and I will set it to back to white. So we get only the gobo display. And for the gobo, we can do the same. Right click, fill with color, and set it to white. As a reminder, that's a workaround because we don't have other choice today than that. See you later.